we're gonna uninstall Edge. And it's not necessarily a bad browser, it's Chromium based and it's very universal. It's just, I don't use it. I use Brave or whatever I wanna do. And when it comes to your computer, I always believe that you should be in control of whatever browser that's on it. And you shouldn't have a whole bunch of extra crap that you don't need, which is what Edge is to me. So with that, that's the problem. It auto opens up whenever you go ahead and you know, if you're gonna do a browser search and say, you know what, I wanna search for stop Edge and search web results. Look, it pulls up Edge and I don't want that. I don't like this browser. I want that to be like Chromium or something like that. Or if I have a PDF and I go to pull uh, that up, well, that's pulling it up right on Edge as well. You can see set as default and I, I don't like that. Obviously, you can change the default viewer of your PDF so that doesn't happen just by going right click properties and then just changing that to Brave or another app. I think I have Sumatra on here, but for right now, I'll go ahead and just switch that over to Brave, hit OK, and now it'll open up in Brave. But needless to say, I shouldn't have to do that. It shouldn't just default to a program I don't use. So to fix this, we need to go to the base install. And if we just type this into our run box, and if you just hold Windows and R, you'll go ahead and do that, or you can just right click and say run, to pull that up and then just hit OK. This is the same across all Windows installs, Windows 10, Windows 11. Then you want this number and installer. This is the setup program that's installed for this version of Edge and everyone runs a different version so I have to show it in this manner. So then we just take this, copy it, and then we're gonna just launch into our PowerShell with admin or whatever it might be. And you can just do CMD to get to command prompt is what we need. Right click to paste that in. And then we need this little addition right down here. And we just wanna run the setup with all these tags. Paste it in, hit enter, and we forgot a, <laughs> a quote. So we'll come back, put our quote in the front and all the way right here and that should get us to where it needs to be. This should uninstall Edge. So when we go to launch it, it shouldn't launch anymore. Open, no, it's not there anymore. And it's not in our start menu either. If we actually go up, pull up our browser, it doesn't exist. So we actually have uninstalled and removed Edge just that quickly. We didn't even get a prompt or a success, but Microsoft's gonna bring it back. So we need to fix that next. Coming back into the little cheat sheet here on ChrisTitus.com, it's gonna come back, but we can stop it for now until Microsoft patches this out. We just add this key to our registry. Now, if you don't want to manually do this, I would just say copy it open up notepad and we'll just paste this in and then just go file save as and do all files and we'll just say stop edge.reg file and this just brings us to a registry file in our downloads folder you can also download it directly by clicking this link this downloads it from my website I don't ever recommend running stuff from people's websites that's why I always try and teach people how to just do this themselves but if you're particularly lazy, you can just download the zip file and run the registry file inside of it by clicking this link. And with that, we will just go ahead, run this registry file. I'll just go on open with and registry editor. And I'll say, hey, you are about to change values. Just say yes, it's been added to the registry. And if you wanna verify this, you don't necessarily have to do this. We can just do a simple reg edit, come into this. Now by stock, you won't have this key edge update because what I'm doing here is creating a key that says, hey, I'm still on legacy edge from the Microsoft store that isn't part of Chromium and I don't want Chromium's edge. And they're gonna take this workaround off. <laughs> probably sometime, probably quicker for me since I'm on Windows 11 here, but for now you can add this key in and it's gonna stop Chromium Edge from installing on your system. And that's it. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the description or the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.